Hey guys, this is Tim here. Uh, I'm down in the corner for the first time, showing my face. I don't normally do that. Don't even know how it's going to show up, but I'm just here to show you some more some things about Final Draft that you may or may not know. Things that I learned and figured out either on my own or someone told me, and I thought it was cool. So, just a couple tips. And this one will be based around the Elements menu. If you go in the Format and you go to Elements, it's a great place to just change some things you may not like. So the first thing that I always do with any new script is change the default spacing because I can't stand the giant spaces they put between scenes. So just as an example, I'll show you what it'll look like by default. So type in just random, random crap, house day, stuff here, stuff here, and then new scene. And also, hope if you guys don't know, hopefully you do, you can hit enter anytime after anything and it comes up with what you want to do next, which is one of my favorite things about this final draft is you can just do everything with the keyboard and not mess with any many menus if you don't want to. So I hit enter like this and elements pops up and you hit S for scene and new scene and I hit in exterior house. Whatever. As you can see, there's a space here that like by default it's like almost a double space and I've always that's always bugged me because it's basically just wasting space and you don't want to waste any space at all when you're writing a screenplay. So what do you do? You go to format and you go to elements and you go to scene heading and you go to paragraph and you see how it says space before two right here. Uh, by default it's two but if you just change that to one you go like that see how the spacing immediately changes and so like just like that like you could do that right away and then just write your script or when it's totally done you can go in and change it and I don't know how much it's gonna save page wise because you know I always do it by default right away because it just always bugs me and yeah that's a good tip for saving some extra space other things you can do with elements menu that I like if you want to change how the, the actual uh, heading or the slug line, or whatever you want to call it, location, you can just go into font and you can change set font. Not change the actual font, but some things that I like to do with headings is underline them and sometimes bold them too, if you want to bold them. So yeah, I mean just it just helps make your uh, it just helps make your scene headings pop out more. Some people may not like it. I liked it the first time I saw it, I immediately started doing it and Sometimes I don't bold. I might just underline. You know, I mean, I, the way I, the way I, the way I look at scripts can change. Like something I like, like I didn't, I like bolding at first, and then I kind of didn't like it. It's just my weird personal preferences just change. But you can, yeah, you can go into paragraph again. Sorry, font. You know, and get rid of the bold and have it regular. You can change the font too, but I don't recommend. You just you don't recommend you don't change the font at all the standard font that comes with any new screenplay just leave it don't even touch that because courier courier is what's the standard and that's it but yeah you can get rid of the underline I mean, sometimes I like just the underline and no bold it looks pretty look that helps it pop out a bit more without being too obvious so you know that's one tip that a couple tips with the elements menu that I like so more things. Crap, crap, and whatever, and someone talks. So this is the first time anyone's ever spoken in this made-up screenplay I'm writing. So you you'd hit, uh, you go hit enter, and then you hit tab, and every time you hit tab, it defaults to the dialogue. So you hit enter, you type in a character's name, C, and then you can just type in Tom, and then whatever it says stuff he says. And you can go in and, and hit enter again and type in uh, Dom. You know, fight me, whatever. I don't know. I'm just saying all this shit, but this is where. It's, so now that those names are in there and those locations are in there, you can go back to format and elements. And then, no, wait, that's not the right place. It's another menu. Right, so that was in the elements menu. You go to document and you go smart type. And this is where all the names you just wrote in are already there, right? So 
These are the names I created. Extensions is nothing. That's just normal. I mean, these are your default extensions. No need to change those. Scene intros, same as that. But here are your locations as well. So if you had a bunch more, you could like, you know, change them or add one. But I like this area for if you accidentally type something wrong, because even though Final Draft is intuitive, if you if you were to type in Tom's name again, but typed in Tom extra M or, or something, or you hit the letter next to it by accident, and you hit enter without even noticing. Now, if you go back to Smart Type, see now that name is in there that you put in by accident. It immediately saves it, but easy, but you, the thing is you can just delete it and it's gone, right? So boom, that a name you accidentally put in is not there anymore. Go back, more stuff, whatever. So those are just some couple tips. That's all I got right now. This is that moment. There's a few things that I I learned on the way that I like and are useful, and I just don't know if people know these things or not, but just wanted to share that information. So thanks for watching.